after completion of a skull they are going to next part of the axial skeletal system is goes to vertebral column vertebral column is goes to give the complete the back of the body's formation by the vertebral column vertebral column is consisting the formation of a 26 bones formation to the vertebral column in that 26 bones to bifurcated by the where the bones are situated which part we can suggest as a cervical vertebra in the presence into the neck there are seven bones there are seven bones the formation of a neck region we called as cervical vertebra second one is goes to thoracic vertebra is goes to 12 means the thoracic area the formation of rib cage all these aspects of formation here we called as thoracic vertebra next we goes to lumbar vertebra in the back of the body this formation of a this part lumbar area we call from formation of a lumbar vertebra there are five lumbar vertebra are there next is goes to sacrum sacrum is a formation of one one bone will be there but uh, five bones are formation here the formation of a triangular shape like fused formation we called as a sacrum and last part is goes to coccyx coccyx we called as coccyx one but there are uh, it goes to coccygeal bones there are four coccygeal bones to fuse to formation of a the tip of a part we called as coccyx will be there these are the coccyx we call as vertebral column we see how it is that means uh, cervical vertebra the first cervical vertebra first part we call as atlas second one is goes to axis okay atlas and axis will be there atlas atlas is attached to the cranium there is goes to occipital bone occipital bone there is a have a two condyles we called as condyle means some of the cavity like structure will be there we called as occipital condyle occipital condyle is a uh, is attached to the the first part of the vertebra we called as atlas atlas to all complete uh, skull is attached to the atlas here we called as condyles two occipital condyles will be there that's we called as human skull we consider as a dicondylic skull the two occipital condyles articulated with the atlas atlas is a uh, is there is a have a odontoid uh, a deltoid uh, uh, process will be there the deltoid process they be called as axis axis in the axis area this uh, atlas it can be articulated by the any direction can be movement like this it is goes to deltoid process an odontoid process in the process there is a have a axis axis atlas atlas you can orient it off any direction it can be moved like this will be there like movement like this up and down and the uh, yes and no all these movements is performed by the this type of joint is possible next remaining is goes one two is a three four five six seven all these are formation of a neck area all these are seven bones we consider as a cervical vertebra second one is goes to thoracic vertebra thoracic vertebra here there is a have a sternum there is a have a sternum here thoracic vertebra are 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 like this is goes to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it is finished about uh, cervical vertebrae here to start off is goes to thoracic vertebrae thoracic vertebrae is, is a formation of a here to the sternum is connected by the bum rib there is a have a bone we called as a we called as ribs 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 there is a have a two facets capticulum or astabulum there is a have a two facet one two three four five six seven seven is it is a direct to the attached to the sternum eight eight nine ten or eleven and twelve okay these are we consider here first one is uh, these are the twelve we call as thoracic vertebrae thoracic vertebrae next to lumbar vertebrae there is a have behind of the part we call as lumbar vertebrae next to sacrum sacrum is goes to such a triangular shape of the part we called as sacrum 
that is a have a sacrum there is a five bones fused to formation of a sacrum okay sacrum five bones fused to formation of sacrum five and last part is goes to this part is goes to coccyx coccyx one two three four four bones with formation fused to formation of a coccyx will be there this is about vertebral column vertebral column be consisting of 26 bones are there this is about 26 bones next we consisting of a sternum sternum we consisting of a two parts one is a anterior part we called as manubrium here we call as anterior part we can consider as a manubrium manubrium and distal part we called as body body the distal part we called as xiphoid xiphoid process there are three parts we consider here first part is goes to manubrium second one is goes to body third one is goes to xiphoid will be there xiphoid will be there here there is a have a ribs will be for attached to the by face two facets of ribs are attached to the here 12 pairs of ribs here we consisting of a ribs we called as ribs we consider as a 12 pairs ribs are there 12 pairs of ribs are there in the 12 pairs 1 to 7 we these are ribs are we consider as a true ribs true ribs why we consider of a true ribs means these 1 to 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven ribs are uh, completely attached to the sternum that's why we called as sternal ribs also will be there true ribs and the sternal ribs also will be there next one is goes to eight nine ten the three ribs are attached to the eight nine ten three ribs are attached to the seventh rib that is joint is goes to chondral joint that is goes to chondral joint so vertebro chondral ribs we called as vertebro chondral joint of the seventh rib what we called as vertebro chondral ribs are goes to eighth ninth tenth that is goes to three vertebro chondral ribs next to two eleventh and twelfth we considering as the off means vertebrae start the bones and freely move free into the uh, thoracic area this we called as floating ribs or free ribs are there floating ribs are we consideration as a free ribs are there these are we goes to ribs okay floating ribs it is a goes to true ribs second one is goes to vertebrochondral ribs third one is goes to floating ribs or the free ribs are there this is about uh, vertebral column and is goes to sternum also will be there let us switch on to the appendicular skeletal system in the appendicular skeletal system we go for limbs and the girdles will be there